Why, my sweet little duck? The fig Sandy Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking you back to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there. Then I'll bring it back here. And his fit fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he set her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who was in bed with her cup, he crept to the chimney and he stuffed the tree up. <laughs> then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. And the last thing he took was a log for their fire. On their walls he left nothing but some hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. And he did the same thing to all the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose houses. Nauseate me, Mr. Grinch, with a nauseous super nos. You're a crooked, dirty jockey, and you drive a crooked horse, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of rubbish imaginable, tangled up in the tangled up knots. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, stink, stank, stunk. It was a quarter of dawn, all the who's still in bed, all the who's still a snooze, when he packed up his sled, packed it up with the presents and the ribbons and the wrappings, the snoof and the fuzzlers and the tricklers and trappings. <laughs> Feet up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the hoos! He grinchily was humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up, I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. Then every who down in Whoville will all cry boo-hoo. That's a noise. Grin the Grinch. Then I simply must hear. He paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low. Then it started to grow.
was it sad? Why, this sound sounded glad. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or another, it came just the same. And the Grinch with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It, it came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> And then the true meaning of Christmas came <laughs> And the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches plus two. <laughs> and now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. With a smile to his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerily blowing. On his trumpet. <laughs> he rode into Whoville, he brought back their toys. He brought back the flute to the Who Girls toys. <laughs> He brought back their snoop <laughs> and their trickles and puzzles. Brought back their pantoogas and their gafflers and puzzles. <laughs> he brought everything back. <laughs> the food for the feast, and he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. <laughs> Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer, cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas day is in our grasp. So long as we have hands to clasp, <laughs> Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas, now we stand heart to heart. And
something really wonderful and something really inspiring that everyone and he always felt uh, was overwhelmed by the talent of our young performers and as a, as we have an example of them too tonight. <laughs> so he always wanted to have an award. He thought we should have an award for a young, one of our younger performances. Unfortunately, Ivor had a tragic accident and he passed away and the executive of the players decided to name the award, the Ivor Harrington Award for uh, Young Performers. It's my great pleasure tonight to present the award to one of our members for last year's performance. Mary Oliveira, would you come for me?